Okay, gadget for today. This has been something I've had my eye on for over probably two to two and a half years. And this is a small personal plastic injection mold machine made in Cincinnati, Ohio by a small company over there. And I uh, went to the company and viewed it a while back, I'm going to say 2000 or 20, 2020. Um, and saw it run and finally uh, recently sold my house and that released some funding to be able to support this and um, the reason I bought this machine have this machine is to create my own in uh, plastics enclosures for a product I'm trying to bring to market uh, as well as some other components for it but basically I'm going to run a cycle here and uh, first off this is the plastic that it uses which this is uh, polypropylene and they give you some samples of that and they give you a sample mold um, so we are going to go ahead and just start the process there's a uh, basically this is a Windows tablet that runs the software and on here I've already preheated the machine it's going to be a bit loud here but once we run this it actually closes the mold here well as we'll run a large ram here or piston that is going to pull some of the plastic and you can see there I've got a little bit of the plastic in there and it tells me here that it's clamping that it's going to go in and do the injection so that quickly the injection doesn't take very long at all and yeah, it makes kind of some grinding sounds and whatnot, but that's normal. Um, it's all under computer control. And uh, that quickly, it's now homing. It has already injected and pulled itself down. I'm gonna go ahead and open the door. Hopefully this doesn't cause us any issues the part and so the plastic comes in from this side over here on the left and it gets put into here and in this case I just have to pull the part out and voila there you go plastics injection now usually machines that do this are large and very expensive and uh, this one we actually moved this down into my basement on an appliance dolly it weighs about 250 maybe 300 pounds and the nice thing about this is it's all automated we can just hit run again and in about 60 seconds we'll have another part so this particular mold does not have ejector pins so it's a manual process and at the end of each cycle I have to manually take it out and uh, when I go into production with the parts I'll be making I need this machine to run on its own so there's an option in here to do multi parts basically um, multi cycles and when it's running in that mode it'll run independently um, and I'll actually have a hole um, cut in this uh, table and I'll just be able to come in and put a pail underneath there, uh, like a garbage pail, and allow the parts just to fall into it. And it'll run completely independent. So a lot of things I design are 3D printed, um, but you can't scale that. You can't run a 3D printed part. They take just way too long. This machine has a cycle time of like one to two minutes, and with that, I'll be able to make potentially four or five hundred um, cases or components, whatever they are, um, in, in an eight-hour shift. And you could theoretically run this thing uh, as long as you can keep it uh, running plastic, you know, keep, keep it full of plastic. Um, it will run almost 24 hours a day. Now, I'll have another system that will feed into this hopper and, and everything. And some plastics you need to dry you need to keep the humidity down in them and that but um those are all challenges i'll solve 
but yeah this has been a big milestone for the product product that I've been working on coming up on four years now um, hopefully this year I will we'll be able to launch my Kickstarter um, kind of interesting when I moved a lot of stuff from my old house to the new one I had to uh, move a lot of heavy equipment I think the biggest thing was my iron worker which was about 3,000 pounds and when I did that I built a battery powered um, hoist that I bought from Harbor Freight and this was designed to be portable but yesterday I ended up making rigging up this uh, little crane system now you can see down there I've got my battery that I run this off of there's a remote and the cable goes across and it allowed me to come over here to this snatch block and uh, yeah it looks a little hokey but for to lift 300 pounds it's uh, worked worked the charm and um, I still got to modify this table strengthen it up a little bit and uh, designed it or bought this with uh, wheels wheels on it so that I can move it around to wherever I want to run this thing I didn't want to have it on a permanent setting but anyway that's all I got for now